Hi, this is Dr. Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm here in San Jose at the Search Engine Strategies Conference with Aaron Wall. Aaron uh, is an interesting guy that knows a lot about organic search as well as paid search. And what I want to talk with you about today is uh, this idea that you have of how to use Google Analytics to optimize AdSense earnings, that is earnings from ads on your page. Okay. That uh, you sign up with Google and you can put ads on your page and earn a little bit of revenue. How to optimize that kind of revenue. So, how do you go about this, Aaron? Okay, so analytics allows you to um, connect your analytics account and your uh, AdSense account together. And then what that does is, let's say you have them connected and you let it run for two, three, six months, you know, some amount of time so, to so get that up. You connect them so that the data from your AdSense ads is combined with the data from your, in your Google Analytics, mm -hmm. right? And what that does is it gives you, you the data on the keyword basis so you can look and see you know, on a keyword or on a per URL basis, you can see that, hey, this page made so much money over this much time, and hey, this, uh, this keyword brought in this much money over this amount of time. And then when you have that sort of data, you, they, they have an export function. Um, by default, it exports to 500 uh, results at a time. If, if you search online, there's a way to do it like 50,000 results at a time, but it's kind of complex, and I'm going to mess up if I offer okay. that tip now. But, um, once you have that data, an interesting thing is, now you have all these keywords, you know how much you're making from them, so where do you rank for them at? So then you take that keyword okay, list. Okay, so let's pause okay. here a minute. So what, you take all the, all the combined data mm -hmm. of, of what you made on, on an ad on such and such a page from the keyword as well as the URL, you've got all that kind of data. Now you export it to something like Excel. Yep, yeah, it's an Excel And now expert. you can start sorting. Mm -hmm. So what are you sorting on? So by default, you can, you can set the column to sort, even before you export, you can set the column to sort by <coughs> how much you made off the keyword. Okay. So then you basically you start with your most valuable or highest earning keywords that you're pulling in some traffic for. And then for them, um, you go ahead and you take that keyword list. Um, we offer a free rank checker on our site. What's your site? Uh, SEObook.com. Okay. And if you search for rank checker, I think it's number one too. Um, but you can do up to two keywords at a t 200 keywords at a time in that rank checker. And you just grab your first 200 keywords, put them in there, see where you rank, and that'll tell you, okay, here's the page that's ranking, here's your ranking position. And uh, you can also... If okay, so <clears throat> you've got these keywords, you know you're making money off them. Now you're going to look to see where you're ranking, if someone were to search in that keyword, what, what, what rank you are, mm -hmm. all right? So you have your rank data and your earnings data, and then you kind of, you can look at... You know, there's there's been various um, search traffic breakdown distribution uh, examples that were shared, like when the AOL data was leaked. So you can look at some of that sort of stuff and say, hey, I was ranking number eight or number ten, and this was earning this much. If I could boost that up to a number two or three, maybe I'll triple the earnings of that. Okay. So what this is, <coughs> excuse me, what this is doing then, it, it it's saying these keywords you're earning money on. Now put some emphasis and focus on those and see if you can boost the ranking so you can earn even more. Is that the idea? Yeah, so and there's and there's multiple ways to do that. Like when so now you have the URL, the earnings and the keyword. So you can go to the the site, look at look at that page and say, "Hey, am I really is the page are those keywords in the page title yet? If not, then maybe they can go okay. in there." Yeah. So or you can do link building for that page or look for ways to promote that page yeah. further. A lot of times we sort of put AdSense ads on our site and then let it go on autopilot and we don't really think about how we can make more and so this is it. Uh, you, you, you combine your Google and your AdSense accounts, you sort for the keywords that are making the most, see what the ranking of those keywords are and then say, okay, how can I improve the ranking of these keywords so that I can make more money? And another thing you can do when you know the top couple pages is you can see who's advertising on those pages, and if it's like an affiliate, you can maybe do a direct affiliate deal yourself and make more that way too. So there's there's all kinds of options once you have all that data together. Right. Well, thanks for the insights. Tell me about uh, your business and what you do. So I run uh, SEObook.com. It's a website focused on SEO, and we offer a suite of uh, premium tools, private community, and online training for SEO stuff. All right. Thanks so much for sharing with us. This is Ralph Wilson with Web marketing today.